Hello. Hello, 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 hello. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Uh, please tell me someone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? <clears throat> Am I audible? Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, Kinjal. Hello, Ria. Hello, Madhuri. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello, Amal. I just, I just need someone to tell me. Can you guys hear me? Am I audible? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Chirag. Thank you, Amal. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, just waiting for you to join in and uh, just waiting for you to join in. And, you know, uh, today is going to be very, very good. It's going to be super fun. Thank you, guys. Uh, th hello, hello, everybody. Hello, Tashi, my boy. What's up? Okay. Um, today's live chat is going to be the second episode of Now Starring. Uh, and the first episode, obviously, was uh, with the man himself, the Khattar Nag boy, Sahil Khattar. And today is going to be the second episode of Now Starring. Uh, and today, we have someone who I adore. Someone who is... The most amazing, someone who is fabulous, uh, and you know what? You don't want to blink. Jab wo dance kar rahi hoti hai, and she is none other than Scarlett Wilson. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to now starring with Scarlett Johnson. <laughs> no, Scarlett Wilson. She's my favorite, and she's gonna be here, hamare saath. Okay. Uh, until she joins in, I want to know that Scarlett Wilson ka kaam kis ne dekha hai? Kaun se gaane mein uh, unho ne dance kiya hai? Who, who? Hello Ankit, hello guys, hello, hello Jai Bhai, hello Mr. Motlani, kya haal hai? I am so happy man, you guys are here, thank you, thank you for, uh, you know, coming on and uh, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take on Scarlett in just... In a minute. Hello, hello, Sharon. Hi, Nisha. Hi, everybody. Hello, guys. I'm just waiting for for Scarlett to just join in. Scarlett Wilson is going to be here very, very soon. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, Naman. Naman's right there. Um, Rishi Badia hai. Rishi Badia hai. Thank you so much. Uh, Rishi is good. Uh, and you know what? Today is going to be so good because today on Now Starring on Instagram Live, I have, I'm going to actually have my first official chat or let's say interview with the gorgeous, the beautiful, the most amazing, the most fun Scarlett Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. She's going to be here uh, with me live at any moment. I'm just going to Let's just hope that this, this is going to be superb. Um Hi. Oh, you think it's a bad it's a bad blow on my head with she Hi, hello, hi, hi, hi how are you? How are you? Put like a really cool filter on this. Like like uh You you, you oh. think you think you need filters? You think do you think so? No, Aren't you gorgeous enough? Like sunglasses on or something. No, maybe not. Oh, look oh. at that. No, let's that looks uh, good. <laughs> Dope. I like that. Oh, that's better. <laughs> you can do that. That's so cool. I know. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much, first of all, for doing this. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good today. Today's a beautiful day. Happy Sunday. Yes, I love the way you woke up. <laughs> you know, know, addressing your neighbors. <laughs> that's funny. You said Eddie Murphy. I love him. Got to love Eddie Yeah. Murphy. That was that was really good. I I saw his uh, when he woke up and he went out in the balcony and did that with everybody. And then today you coming out like your attire was so perfect for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And then I dressed my dad in. I'll post that tomorrow. That's a funny video. Are you gonna do that? I am indeed. Of course I am. I'm gonna talk to you. How how are things talk. with you? How are things with you? How is this period going on? Good. You know, um, um, we spoke yesterday briefly on the phone. Um, good days and bad days. Um, today happens to be a good day, um, and mostly good because I've I've learned to surrender um, to what is going on. You know, the moment we stop fighting um, what is, uh, we feel a little bit more free, or I feel a little bit more free. Um, 
Yeah, overall, it's been, it's, it's been good. And, and that doesn't, that doesn't mean to say like, I'm not, every day I think about what's going on and the, 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 the tragedy that um, is happening in the world. Um, and I do, I do think about it and, and everyone that's losing their lives and loved ones or just even having this dreadful virus. Um, but I try to, I'm, I'm trying to remain positive. I'm trying to think of why this is happening in our world at this time. Maybe I kind of feel like it's nature's way of sending us to our rooms and telling us we've been really naughty and not been listening. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, I'm okay. I'm okay. I've surrendered to it. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's and how are things, how are things uh, um, in your surrounding? Are you guys like allowed to go out or is it like complete lockdown? Or what is it like? What's, what's like the rule? Yeah, we're actually very fortunate in uh, England. We um, are allowed out for exercise once a day. Okay. Um, I've come down to Kent to my father's um, and I'm very lucky because he has a, a lovely outdoor space and we have the beach near us. Um, so I go running every day on the beach. Um, yeah, I've seen that. Weather. This is England. So um, one day it's snowing and the next day it's, you know, boiling hot. You, the way you describe it uh, for people who are in India or in Mumbai, you're in paradise, you know that, right? <laughs> yeah. No, really, you are in paradise. I, I absolutely understand how lucky uh, I am and we are here to be able to get out and have exercise because it's really important, you know, fresh air is really important and uh yeah i don't i think if i couldn't go outside i it would be it would be uh, a struggle we also are allowed out to go to the supermarket every day if we want to i believe in india um you're only kind of allowed out once a weekish right for for your groceries um, yeah so that's what it is so basically what people do here is that as of now it's like a complete lockdown and, uh, you know, so people go out once uh, in a week and, you know, just get all the stuff, they stock it up. And so that you don't have to go out um, every second day. Because right. what happens is that uh, at every crossroad, uh, there's strict uh, checking going on. So the police are not coming up to you, but, you know, they are just keeping a watch that you don't get out just for the heck of it. Right. And uh, it's some, somewhere, uh, I'm just happy that everybody's come together and most of us uh, are actually being uh, mature about it uh, trying to be responsible, but some of them uh, are still not understanding the seriousness and that kind of just, you know, annoys me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a serious thing. And um, I don't know, everyone that's not taking it seriously, I don't know uh, what to say. And actually, it's probably um, better that you're only allowed out once a week. As much as it's a struggle um, and it sucks, it's probably safer and more hygienic and you're less likely to get it. I always think uh, I was at one point like a week ago going to the supermarket every day and I was like that's so stupid because I would normally do that I live by the day so I don't know what I want for dinner tomorrow do you know so but that's so stupid because I ended up queuing for an hour for the supermarket and also surely there's gonna be you know it lit the virus it lives on things it lives on vegetables and then people are picking it up and going no I don't want that I'm putting it back oh. so you know, it's probably, and then you go to the checkout, right? And you put in your, your finger on all of the buttons. And so I'm guessing it's not a very hygienic place to be. Process. So the less that you go, probably the better. Yeah. So sure. I want to know, I want to know how, how has it, how, how has it changed your life uh, from your regular one? Like, you know, these little things like being so cautious about uh, not touching this or not putting it back if you've touched it once and sanitizing yeah. yourself all the time. How has yeah. it changed your regular life or what are you missing out on in this period? In terms of being more, do you mean being more like um, hygienic? Is that what you mean? Like in terms of, or just in general? No, just in general, just in general. Okay, so, um, well, on the whole, overwashing hands and being cautious and the two meter rule, um, I find it hard. Number one, I'm not used to wash it. No one's used to washing their hands that amount of times or antibacterial and everything inside. But um, I'm, I don't overwash my hands. I believe that a little bit of bacteria is good for you. And living in India for 
10 years, I built up the strongest immune system. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't over, overdo it. Um, in terms of keeping distance and not being able to see anyone, um, I'm, is the light gone? Or you can still, have I gone dark? No, okay. perfect. It's just my phone then. Yeah. You can see me, right? Um, what happened? You, yeah, I can. In terms of keeping uh, distance, I'm really struggling because I'm a real loving, hugging person. I, I just want physical touch all the time um, with friends, um, family, loved ones. I just want to, my, my way of approaching people would be to hug them and kiss them or at least touch their arm. Um, <laughs> so uh, I am really struggling with that. And it's weird in the super, how everyone, I don't know if it's over there too, but everyone, if you're kind of closer than people are like giving you funny looks and I find it really sad. I'm like, no, don't go away from me. I don't know. What do you feel? Is it the same there? Or it's horrible here. Uh, you know, it's really <laughs> horrible, but I don't want to talk about it. I mean, because everyone's talking about, you know, quarantine and how sad it is. This chat is supposed to be fun. And basically, this is basically why uh, this chat is going to be fun is because I'm going to invade your personal space, Scarlett. Right. That's how it's going to be. Oh, by the way, dude, I need to give you this compliment. You're, so I was just, you know, doing a little bit of homework and I happened to see uh, a couple of your family pictures and I saw your father's beard and I'm a fan. He is handsome. My father's beard? Yeah. He's got, oh. he's got this really nice beard. Yeah? It's got Has perfect it? shape. Yes. Has he? Well, not at the moment, but I don't know when that picture was taken, but thank you. He would be, I mean, that's a huge compliment and he would be very grateful. If he heard you say that right now, he's, he's just in there. He'd be like, no, I hope no. I hope he watches this later on. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. So I've I've got like I've got a lot of things prepared for you. It's like around two or three pages, and I think we have around twenty five minutes uh, for a good okay. chat. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna begin uh, the session, this live chat first of all by thanking you. So thank you so much for giving me your time, Scarlett. It means a lot to me. Uh, I think I think we know. I think we've we've been in touch since uh, when was it? Two thousand and fifteen. Yeah. Yes, Correct. since July two thousand fifteen. So and then uh, you know whenever I've just asked you for something or you know just messaged you or have uh, spoken to you. You've been so kind. I feel, I feel privileged. I feel lucky. So thank you so much. No, it really you. does mean a lot to me. Um, okay. Let's start with your, let's start with your childhood. Uh, how was it like, uh, what do you like doing? Were you, were you, uh, were you always into dancing? Because I think I saw your video, um, you know, when you were little, uh, this was, this was in Jalak. I saw it. There was this little video with mm -hmm. your mom going, Scarlett, come dance with me. Yeah. And so did you start dancing when you were little itself? Yeah, kind of, um, for fun. Uh, my mum uh, took me dancing when I was 18 months old. Um, wow. Yeah, so yeah, and, um, but it was always just fun, you know? It was never, oh, this you, a serious thing. Um, but then I just carried on dancing the whole, I just fell in love with it. Um, but even then, it wasn't, my mum always said to me, if you ever just don't want to go, it's okay. If you have, but I loved it so much that I was like, no, I want to do it. Even if I would go from school and dance in my school uniform, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So I always say, like, I'm not technically the best trained dancer. I'm, I'm so far from technical. Um, but it's all from here. I've always just danced from my soul and and I think that comes across um, in, in whatever I do. A lot of people are going to disagree with that when you say that, oh. that, uh, you know, you're not a technical uh, trained dancer because, yeah. no. I've seen you throughout Jalak season and I've seen you post that, doing your numbers. Scarlett, the, my favorite of you is obviously Babuji. I mean, I love it. I love that performance. Oh. And also the, also the one that you did in Jalak, uh, which is Tujo Mila. It was the dedication, uh, you know, that you did. You were in the in the sky blue outfit. Oh, oh it's the Salman Khan song. Yes, the, the one that I did. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that was, was beautiful. Oh my God. These two videos, if anybody <laughs> watches, they're not going to... It was just, just from here. It was, it was fantastic. And 
I could feel that. I, I, I think I could feel that. Um, college life, how was, what, what did you do? Like, did you ever, ever think of an alternative career or how were you as a student when you were in college? What did you do? What was, what was your favorite part of going to the college? Do you mean performing arts college or like academic school? Both. How about okay, so academics? Were you, were you a I, bright student? Uh, no, I went straight from uh, normal school to performing arts school. Um, okay. So uh, I went to an all girls school um, that was interesting and hard. <laughs> and I wasn't, <laughs> I, it was a grammar school, but I, I, I mean, I'm hard on myself. I'm not so academically smart. Um, I've always been very street smart, um, but I, I did love school. I loved my friends, but then after school every day, I was going dancing. Um, so that was that. And I guess, and then I went on to perform in arts college and I guess I never had a plan B. I still don't have a plan B and it could all end tomorrow. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I, I don't know what's in store. And also after this pandemic, if things are slower, I, I don't know. Um, I've never had a plan B. I try to just live for the moment and the time and, and the day. And I'm not sure that's the best advice because I don't know what I would do if this is, if this all ends, but I guess I'll address that when it, when, and if it comes to it. Um, so you went to an, you went to an all girls? I did, yeah. My next question was, what's the worst pickle blind you've got? Now, I don't know what should I do with that. Ah. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure once you got out of the all girls thing and then you, you know, you did, you, you did a lot more than that. What, have you ever gotten like a worst pickle blind or a funny pickle blind which you remember or you can recall it right now? Uh no, I mean, I had someone once uh, come up to me and stand next to me in a bar and took a, I mean, this is, you, you know, this, this is very cliche, um, but took an ice cube out of his drink and smashed it on the bar. And I looked at him, I was like, what are you doing? And he, and he said, I thought I'd break the ice. And I was like, <laughs> wow, wow. That's, um, so yeah, that's, that's probably the cheesiest. Was that your cue to like, all right, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And I thought I'd break this conversation right now. <laughs> no, was, okay. Uh, respect to Thank the you. effort, right? It can't be how did Bollywood, how did Bollywood happen to Scarlett? How, how did that happen? What was the call in? Ah, uh, complete fluke. Um, and I say that because I went there. I went off to college to do some uh, some contract. I think it was a modeling slash dance slash. I started um, assisting Bosco Caesar. Um, and it was, I was doing a film called, as a assistant and as a dancer, uh, called mm. God to Sigaleto with Salman, uh, Mr. Khan. And he actually spotted me and um, that day he, he took me off set and he um, paid to get my portfolio done. My first ever portfolio, yeah, I was 18. And he actually talks about this on Jalak, on that, after that performance, he, he, he speaks because we didn't speak for many years, we just lost touch. But um, he wanted me to do a movie and I believe it was Veer. Um, if I remember rightly, and I wasn't ready. I was very uh, young. I wasn't ready at that time to learn Hindi because in my eyes, I was just in India for a few months on a contract and then I was due to come back home. So right. I actually said no. He was very mad at me. Um, <laughs> he was, he was very mad at me. Scarlett um, said no to Salman, headlines. I, I did. <laughs> Am I crazy people? Am I crazy? So um, <laughs> that happened and then I went back to England and then I really just missed India. I met, and, and people said to me, you should come and you should, um, they would love you in Bollywood, they would love your look, you should do item songs. 
um, because you'd be amazing at it. And I was like, huh, what is this? So I thought, let me go back. Let me get a good uh, agent and see how I get on in the item song realm. And so I, I, I bought a one-way ticket back and then I never looked back. I, I just stayed and, and fell in love with every aspect of both Bollywood, India, uh, the people, the country, and I stayed for 10 years because I'm Oh wild. my God. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for doing that. Actually, on, on behalf of the whole fraternity, I think I should, I should thank you for doing that. It was oh, perfect. Yeah. I think that, that, was, that was the best move of your life. You did it, that. It, I mean, it really was. And, and just so many life lessons. Um, very, uh, what is, it was a humbling experience. If I had to ask you, what, what is your favorite place to eat in Bombay? Since you spent 10 years now here. Hmm. I don't think I have a favorite place. Um, because I like so many different cuisines. But like Indian... Um, I don't know, Rishi. What's um, your favorite? Okay, one one thing that you love about the city. What? What? If I ask you, what would you? Yeah. Well, you I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the hustle and the bustle, uh, and the energy of it all. Um, I mean, it is very populated, but there's a aura that I that the city has, which no other place on earth that I've ever been has. There's an energy which you can't put your finger on. You can't, um, it's, uh, and everyone that has ever come and visited all say the same thing. There's, there's an addiction, you know, you get addicted to it. It's a bit It's dangerous. rightly said, right? Bombay yeah. is an emotion, it's not a name. Exactly, mm. exactly. Right. How good a cook are you, Scarlett? I've been looking at your posts and your stories. Thank you. You know, you've been cooking a lot. It looks good, it looks yummy. Never um, ever ever been called to, you know, come over, have a drink with me. Let's have something to eat. You'd have to, you'd have to get on a plane for that. Um, <laughs> so I, I do okay. It's not something that um, I, it, before isolation, it's not something, a world that I dived into because I didn't have time. And cooking... The preparation, like my dad always comes in and he goes, how can you be bothered to do that? And I'm like, I, well, there's nothing else to do right now. But um, I've started really enjoying it since being in quarantine um, and experiencing different, uh, different dishes. I am, I'm trying to be plant-based. Um, I've broken it and started having fish a little bit because I really missed fish. Um, but I'm trying to be plant-based uh, during this time, and I feel good for it. Um, How was yeah, the carrot cake? Baking. I've been doing baking as well. I've been. Um, How was the carrot cake? How was the carrot the, cake? The carrot cake cupcakes. They were divine. So I've been over Easter, and actually I haven't done it this weekend. I've been really bad, but that's because we're eating loads of chocolate. But um, I have been baking. And then secretly dropping it around to people's doorsteps, like my sister, my friends who live down here, and then ringing the doorbell and running off. <laughs> so I'm like a little cake fairy. Um, although my sister caught me, she was like, "What are you doing, getting in my car?" I was like, "I'm a cake fairy." But um, that's been fun, and that's been fun, and um, and it it, feels it looked amazing. delicious. I I saw it, and it looked delicious. Like you everything had from you. No, that's the whole point of this conversation. Oh. You know what you do. What? Bake it. You've got to make. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Do I have to come there, or are you gonna? I think you come to Bombay and doing that, that would be great. Okay, I'm on it. The next time I you come. Some of my homies right here are, are saying that we should host a party for her and call her here. Yes, please. <laughs> and there, there are a couple of comments that I'm going to take so that they don't feel left out. All your fans, uh, someone just said, uh, much love and respect from Morocco. I am from Jharkhand and I love you. That is Rahul Anand, if you can just say that name. Sonu says, hi, Thank beautiful. Thank you, Rahul. Hi, Sonu. All right. So, yeah, I'm not going to miss out on the comments while this is going on. Um, okay. So, here is the fun part now. Uh, there are two segments in this, uh, Scarlet. Um, you know, I do a lot of homework. I watch all your interviews. Uh, I see what you've been up to all this while. And obviously, personally, whatever I know of you. 
Um, there are two segments. Uh, the first one is never have I ever not surprised with this. You've probably played this one. It's going to be fun. Good. So, um, fun yeah, it, right? yeah, I mean, you know, you don't have to reason it out. You just have to say I have or I never have if you want to. You know, it's me. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I hope I've done a decent job uh, framing these questions. And, uh, you know, do you remember our interview of Chalak in your vanity? Do you remember that? I mean, I remember it, but I don't remember the content. I was, I looked pathetic back then. I still do though. But Oh, yeah. stop. Okay, never have I ever on now starting with Scarlett, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have anything that you want to ask uh, Scarlett, please yeah, put it down in the comment yeah. section. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. All right. Never have I ever cheated to win a game. You got to be honest. So what do I have to say? I have. I have or I never have. Oh, I, I definitely have. Okay. Never have I ever given anyone um, a fake phone number just to escape the situation. I definitely have. <laughs> I'm sure about that. I was sure about this. Just Never change. have I ever... <laughs> I think it's the easiest to do, right? Like, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Stop pestering. No, me. <laughs> but the worst thing is when they say, okay, I'm just going to give you a missed call. And you're like, bye, bye. And you start running. <laughs> Uh, how many times has this happened to you? <laughs> how many times? <laughs> I, do you know what? Now it's really good because people say, can I have you? And I go, oh, I've got an Indian number. And then I go, hey, just take my Instagram. Because then it's like a, you know. Yeah. Not, then it's like... Obviously, if I like someone, then of course I wouldn't do that. Okay, we're going to talk about that later. Um, I never have I ever secretly checked messages on someone's phone. I'm going to say I have never. Okay. Yeah. I, I, never have I, I trust too much. Yeah. You I do? do? Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, wow. I do. Never have I ever had a crush on someone who is younger than me. Just by the way, I'm younger than you. Are you? Everyone's yeah, younger yeah. than me. Um, I'm old. So <laughs> no. uh, have I ever had a crush on someone that's younger than you? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. No, you your, your birthday is coming up, right? It's next month. Yeah, in two weeks, yeah. All right. All right. Never have I ever gotten drunk and called or texted my ex. Absolutely, I've done that. Yes, I have. Never have I ever had a crush on a guy who is a bad dancer. Wait, so... I, like... It's, what do you have mean? you ever had a crush on a guy who is a bad dancer? Absolutely. You do? You do? Absolutely. I'm, I'm not sure even if I like... I do like a man that can dance. That is attractive, but it depends. There's a... I, it depends. For me... You have a golden heart. You know that, right? Well, yeah, but also I quite like someone that can't do anything in the arts. Because I want to be the star. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, you know it. Let it be anybody. You know it. If you were next to that person, the spotlight is going to be on you. The spotlight is you. Well, no, unless it's someone industry based, but that was my, that, yeah. Anyway, next question. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> never have I ever slapped a guy. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I've never. I've never. No? No. Even that just thing on, nice to people. this thing on YouTube. Um, did you see that? that yeah, I, I did. Someone. Yeah, no, that wasn't real. That wasn't real. Yeah. None of that was real. Terrible. I was, yeah, I didn't want to touch that. I was like, Scarlett cannot do that. She's too nice to that. No, no, no. no. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. <laughs> All right. Uh, never have I ever shamelessly flirted with her co-star. Probably I have. You, you're going back in thoughts. It's like... I can't, you're, you're I can't really being honest. Through, but I, I definitely would have. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Never have I ever bought an insanely expensive dress, not because it was hot, but it was just because of the brand. Uh, can we? No, I haven't. But shoes, yes. Okay. Is that the same thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. This is how it's going to be like. This is how we and get to know more of you. It's people. not worth it. I. That's the conclusion. It's not worth it. But you do it's go not. for a phase. You go for a phase you... of 
materials being a thing, but they're not a thing. Look at you're putting it out there for all your friends. fans like that. Huh? Putting it out there, putting it out there for all your fans that don't do that. Yeah, it's just not, not a, a good idea. Because look what's happening right now. We're not in control of anything, and it's all pointless. Money, it materials, is. it doesn't mean anything. So yes, I have on shoes, but I don't think I would do it. Again. Never have I ever told someone uh, that he or she is dumb and never spoken to that person ever again. No, I I would never do that. Never do that. I don't think I've ever you are such a nice woman. Well, no, I just never have I, never have I ever disguised myself and stepped out in a public space to save my identity. No, never. No. Never have I ever had an embarrassing fangirl moment around the star. No, never. Who Who's no, your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? In from Bollywood? From Bollywood. From Bollywood. Yes. Um, Um, can you come back to me? I, I will. I, I will. Let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remember that. All right. Okay. Never have I ever borrowed something from a friend and never returned. Oh, all the time from my best friend Abby. I terrible. I steal things and then I just forget to give them back. <laughs> all the time. And she's like, "It's kind of I'm like, "Yeah, I've got that." Yeah. Never have I ever lied to Rishi while playing. Never have I ever with him. No, no I haven't lied about a single thing till now. Yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that. I don't think you're pretty honest. I mean, you're on the face. It's, this is what it is. But you know, when we were talking about, uh, we were having a conversation uh, last evening about doing this live, and you know, you told me something that uh, you know, how about everything is not in our control and the materialistic. I, w- I want you to. Uh, just give it out as a message to all the people who are watching us right now. That was beautiful. The thought actually is deep. It's intense. So, uh, you know, would you share it with the world right now? Yeah, well, that that was it pretty much. Just that um, we're not in control. It's we, as humans, we we think we're so powerful. And we're used to being so powerful. Um, and really, things, something as... Well, it's invisible. This virus is invisible, and some there's no, there's no war. There's no guns. There's no. There's nothing religious about it. But yet, it's come and it's taken over, and I guess that's it's nature, right? It's come, and nature will always win, and we are here just for a few moments on planet Earth, and that's not, that's not a negative. That's not like a depressing statement. But I think we. We take life so seriously, right? We we think that everything we do, everything is so important, getting everything so right, and and yet it it isn't because look at what's happening now. And um, yeah, I think the biggest lesson in all of this is to surrender. Um, that actually we're not really in control, and just not take life too seriously. I guess. I think that's yep. uh, what I've learned in all of this. And I hope I yeah. continue to, and I hope everyone does. I hope when we come out of this, everything, there's just a little bit more love and less, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. It's less seriousness um, in life. And yes, it is. It is. We're irrelevant. Is. That's, that's the point of it. We're, we're all irrelevant, but not in a negative way. Just in a, it's just a reality. We are, so don't take any of it seriously. Taking it each day how it comes. I mean, I know, yeah, there's a lot to learn though. Coming back to Bollywood, Scarlett, uh, you know, you've been, you've, you've been a part of one of the biggest films of, let's say, Indian cinema. You know, now I'm not going to be um, biased about the region and I'm talking about Bahubali. Yeah. And uh, I want to know, I want to know the feel of that because while you were shooting for that song, you probably did not know that it's going to be this huge. How did that happen to you? How did how did the song Manohari from Bahubali happen to you? Tell us the story. Um, so, um, I don't remember exactly, uh, but I know that my agent got a call from the director. Um, I'm quite known already in South. I've done more South film South films than uh, Bollywood. Um, I love it. I do love it down there. Um, and so the director, I guess, knew who I was and called my agent in uh, Bombay and um, 
yeah, I said we'd like Scarlett for Scarlett and Nora. Nora was also with me in the agency for this song. Um, so yeah, that it was just just like that. And then they flew us down. Um, we shot for a long time. It was the longest ever shoot. It was about seven, eight days. Um, but I, that's because, and if you see in the song, it's the choreography is not so um, complex. It's it's pretty simple. It's actually though a piece of art that that song. It's it's more um, the way that they've shot it is just so perfect. Every, like we he would stop the shoot if like our fingers were you know a centimeter out because it was very wow. yeah the creativeness behind the creative vision was very um, particular. And so it was a long shoot and it was tiring because everything had to be so perfect. Um, but no, I had a feeling that it was gonna be a big song just because of the, um, the effort that they've gone and the, um, the preciseness of everything. I thought, oh, I think this might be a bit of a masterpiece. <laughs> Um, and it really was, it was, I, I always think, I always describe Manohari as a little piece of artwork, you know? Um, it was beautifully done. So yeah, that's how that happened. And actually when, uh, in, you know, if you watch the film, the, the timing of the song fits in perfectly uh, with the situation of the story that's going on. But right. you did a fabulous job. Right. Um, so all these years uh, in Bollywood and, you know, you've done a lot of, a uh, lot of, work in the South film industry. Uh, what's the difference that you faced work-wise, um, you know, not in the dance form or how difficult it is, but, you know, the professionalism. Uh, how, how, how is it, like, how is Hindi film industry different from the South Indian film making? I actually think that um, the South is a little more, I don't want to use the word professional because that's, because Bollywood is, but I, I find in the South, like the timing of things have been better. And um, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. It's, it, they're, they're very similar, but so I, don't, I really enjoy shooting in South and I can't put my finger on what it is. But if they tell you 10 o'clock we're rolling, we will roll at 10, there will be no, you know, um, which is slightly different in India. They have more of a leeway there. But yeah, that's... How, that's much, how, much of, how, much of, how much of the language have you learned? Like the Hindi language? Uh, I'm sure, I, I know that you know Hindi like pretty much, but do you still remember all of it? That's, that's interesting because I, when I was around it every day, um, I pretty much understood everything. So even though I was like scared to speak it because I didn't want people laughing at me I, I pretty much understood if I heard anyone speaking or have a conversation in Hindi I pretty much understood everything um but it's funny when you're not there when, when you're not there how I think I lost her can you hello can you hear me hello Can you, can you hear me? I'm going to call you back. Hold on. Hello? 